Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world and today I have my friend Jake here who is a science teacher in a middle school and we are going to do something really fun. What are we going to do? Well, today it's kind of like what we did with the salt and our pepper in the water. Yeah, sure. We are going to um, do a little kitchen chemistry. Okay. Uh, and so first thing we're going to need is a little milk and so why don't you add a little bit of milk to the bowl for us. Okay. Now, does it matter what kind of milk it is? Usually whole milk, or the fattier the better. Ooh, okay. okay. Because I like fat. Milk is mostly water. Okay. Okay, but, you know, it does have a lot of fats and proteins in there. If it's mostly water, how come it's white? Uh, it has a lot to do with the fats and the proteins. And it's, they make again, it white? Uh, sort of. It's probably a lot more than you really want to get into on your show here. Okay. There's pepper in there. All right. Oh, that's can tell what we did last time. <laughs> <laughs> so now what do we do? Well, let's add some food coloring. Okay. I got some good ones here. Any color is fine. Usually more color the better. Okay. Do you want to add some and I'll add some? Sure. Now, I actually have to admit that I have done this mm -hmm. experiment. And the reason that I've done this experiment before is because I find it to be very wizardly and magical. Again, like I said last time, I think that uh, magic and science, they go hand in hand. Any good magician definitely knows his or her science. And the cool thing about this one is that kids love color. So by adding all these little drops of color, they get to have a little extra fun there. Okay, I added a little bit more of the pink there because I like pink. Now what do we do? Well, we've got some floating color. We mm -hmm. could just stare at this and it, look at it, right? It's very pretty. It's pretty. Yeah. But let's make it more interesting. Okay. We're going to take a little Q-tip, mm -hmm. use your finger, use whatever. Toothpick? Toothpick works sure. great. Anything. And just add a little bit of soap to it, dishwashing okay. soap. Mm -hmm. uh, do you liquid. need to use any special kind of? No, well, just liquid soap works okay. the best. It's the easiest to okay. use. And we're going to touch it right here. Why don't you do the honors? Okay. So what am I going to do? Just. Why don't you Anywhere? Touch it? Like sure. right in the center? Sure. Center, like center, center is a great place to start. Okay. Make it. Whoa! Why don't you touch it again? Oh my gosh! Now notice too, the longer you keep it in there, if you move it around... Oh, it follows. Look at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And it's gonna actually because you've got so much milk is so much of that milk is water. Uh -huh. You are it's gonna keep doing that because it's it's a lot like what we talked about with the soap or and the pepper uh -huh. or in the water. One end of the soap is really attracted to the water molecules. Okay. I call it a sticky substance mm -hmm. because when you have two water molecules, one water molecule is actually attracted to another molecule because they have kind of they're kind of like a magnet. There's two sides of it. Okay. And so when you put the soap and that soap takes one of those mo water molecules, the model water molecule that's left alone is actually looking for another water molecule. So that's actually what you're seeing a is bunch a bunch of lonely molecules. Kind of, they are. They're moving. So what you why it's why the food color is moving is actually because the water within the milk is what's moving, and it's just carrying the different the food coloring with it. Wow. But check it out, like. What's really cool about this and what would be really fun for kids is that they, the more you move it, the more the colors mix and it becomes almost like an aurora borealis where all the colors are just flowing away and together and, and joining together. And you know, how you could use this in like a wizarding kind of party is you could say, you know what, I'm using this ghostly plasma and I will see if there is an essence of ghost here by adding this. And then when you put it in, all the colors would swirl out. And the, the colors could tell you that there was a ghost in there. And actually, you could pretend that the swirls of color were actually ghosts swimming around. Oh, that's a clever thing. Or it could just be a big potion, too, Oh, right? that's potions, true. Potions are always fun. I guess the main thing would be not to drink this, though. Yeah, I would, I would probably not encourage you to drink that after you're done with in that. In fact, I think it's probably wise to say, Never drink anything that you make as a science experiment. Absolutely, that's one of the number one rules. If you, it's you should never eat or drink in a science lab. And since you're making your kitchen kind of a science laboratory, I think it's probably really important not to eat or drink your potions. Well, for more wonderful non-edible potions and lotions, come on over to sophie-world.com and check out what we're cooking up next.